Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we are going to build the kernel and make some additional modules for the NVIDIA Jetson TX2. Let's get started. Before we start building the kernel, let's put the Jetson into high performance mode. Pseudo NVP model. Minus M0. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Build Jetson TX2 Kernel. Let's clone that repository. Git clone. Grab the address. Paste it over here. And let's switch over to that repository directory. There are three steps to this process. First, we will get the kernel sources and configure the kernel. Then we will make the kernel, and then we will copy the image over to the boot directory. So first, let's get the kernel sources. Okay, now we're ready to configure our kernel. Let's get our other pane going here. Move this up. Let's set up our local version. If you are just building on top of a stock kernel, you want to use the local version that's on that particular kernel. So let's look that up. You name minus R. So minus Tegra in this case is the local version. However, I want to have my own local version tag. I want to call it minus Jetsonbot version 0 0.1. I also want to add some additional modules to the stock kernel. One of them is the ACM driver. Let's go find that. I will build that into the image. Many USB devices report as ACM types of devices. So if you're looking for something on TTY ACM, you will need this module. Another module that I need is this CH341 module. I will build this as an external module. I will save my configuration and we're ready for the next step. Close this up. Next, let's make the kernel. The script applies some patches to the make files to enable it to be able to build the kernel on the Jetson TX2 itself. And then it compiles the modules and the image. And the third step is to copy over the image after we have built it. Before we reboot, let's take a look at the build area. We built everything in slash user slash source. Here is the build area, source release, is the kernel sources and sources for some other packages. This was one of the decompression areas that we created. You can get rid of that. 
kernel is the location of the sources for the kernel and modules. If space is tight on your Jetson, you may want to take the kernel sources and the compressed version of them and squirrel them away somewhere else and delete them. You will need sudo to delete these files. So let's reboot the system. The moment of truth. Ah, we got lucky. Let's open up a terminal. You name minus R. There it is, Jetson Bot, version 0.1. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.